now this is how the camera interface look like as you can see it does have auto fo focus so it will automatically focus on the subject which is there in the center apart from this if we take a look over the settings let me just show you so you do have HDR mode supported you have a panorama mode as well let's take a look over the settings and show you what we have apart from these things so you have the picture quality which is set to standard we can have it high or you can set it to low this is how the resolution will get changed you can actually store location information for the photos as well you can use volume button to take a photo you can use them for zoom functionality you can also use them for controlling the volume of the device you do have camera sounds which you can enable you also have the option of scanning a qr code from this device so all those options which you might have seen on me 3 you have all these options over there you do have advanced mode over here as well so once you enable the advanced mode the camera options will be slightly more and it will give you the option of doing a macro mode basically you can actually make the lens go into macro mode so that you can take the photos of anything which is far more closer uh, and you can take the photos much more in details with the macro mode although the manual mode is not supported on redmi 1s so inside the indian retail package you will also find these adapters which will come within the package there will be two adapters which will come within the package video resolution which is going to be support from the rear camera is going to be full high definition that is full high definition videos can be recorded from this device you can also record videos at 720p 1080p is the full high definition resolution you do have standard quality also supported apart from this you do have support for recording slow motion video as well on this device let me just show you that option and i have yeah over here we can see that we have the option of recording a fast motion video so once we do this if the subject is moving at high speed you can actually record that with this fast moving option over there in the camera when it comes to otg we have an otg flash drive over there and let me just connect this flash drive with this phone and see whether we have support for otg or not on this one so we have just connected it and now it has given the notification that the usb storage device is detected so it should be there under notifications so as you can see we have it over there and you do have the option of safely removing this usb storage device once you are done you just need to tap over here and it will open this usb flash drive and the contents in this file manager in the Apart from the torch application, we do have other application which will come pre-installed on this device which includes a default mailing application. You have an updater which allows you to update the version of Android on this device as well as MIUI. So you can actually use that and you also have a recorder which can be used for recording voice calls as well as for normal recording. You have FM radio which will come pre-installed. This device also has compass sensor, a magnetic field sensor is also there. You also have a download manager which will actually list all the files which you have downloaded on this device either through the browser or through other tools so it will list all the files together in one single place which is good we have installed couple of other applications and games and this device does handle almost any high definition game although we tried installing modern combat 5 modern combat 5 is actually not supported on this device and i the score which we have got on 92 benchmark is again pretty decent we have got a score of 18507 but even if you ignore the score this device is pretty good to use in day to day usage i do not face any lag even while playing high definition games while playing high definition videos everything just played fine on this device without any issues and even when i actually tried running multiple games in the background the device did not show any lag at times so which is definitely a good thing on multi-touch this device supports 10 point multi-touch when it comes to the sensor we have all these sensors which are there on redmi 1s which includes the accelerometer sensor magnetic field sensor gyroscope sensor it has it has gravity sensor linear acceleration rotation vector significant motion detector sensor which also will help a lot of application to track different kind of movements which you can actually do on this device you can actually have health activity related applications which will work with the help of the sensor you have game rotation vector sensor and orientation sensor as well on this device on nina mark this device has given a score of 42.9 fps and again when it comes to playing you can play high definition games like modern combat 4 real racing 3 
Asphalt 8 we tried playing so you can play them you can install these high definition games on this device although when it comes to the latest version of modern combat 5 it is not supported on this device casual games like temple run oz and frontline commando d-day can also run fine on this device without any issues 